Hello everyone and thank you for joining us for yet another episode of MDRX Rivalry. Today we have an exciting topic for you and that is the 300 Blackout Conversion Kit for the MDRX. We had a temporary pause on the production of the 300 Blackout Conversion Kit and that pause will soon be lifted so keep your eyes peeled in the near future for information on that. Due to the specific nature of the 300 Blackout Conversion Kit and its intricacies, this video is going to be a little bit different than previous MDRX Rivalry videos. The 300 Blackout Conversion Kit for the MDRX utilizes a 16 inch 7 twist barrel and it's threaded 5 8 24 here at the muzzle and it utilizes its own bolt head and a different recoil spring that is installed on the bolt carrier. The 300 Blackout Conversion Kit uses the same ejection chute as all the 223 forward eject rifles, as well as the magazine spacer, but that's where the similarities end. It does, however, come with a 300 Blackout specific magazine. The 300 Blackout is a bit of an anomaly. Ammunition can be had in both supersonic and subsonic. These differences in ammunition cause a great variation in operating pressures inside the firearm and therefore require a unique gas system to properly function this firearm. Our engineers created a patent pending multi-port gas system for the 300 Blackout. This was done to ensure reliable functioning of both supersonic and subsonic ammunition from a variety of sources. What this means for you as an operator of the gun is more reliable function and more control to adjust the operation of the system. It's also going to require a little bit more care when you're doing your initial setup of the rifle. Operating this conversion kit with supersonic ammunition in a subsonic gas setting can cause damage to components of the rifle that could cause a failure. Therefore, you need to be very careful when selecting one of the six gas positions for this conversion kit. The larger flow subsonic gas settings of this gas valve will allow substantially more volume. And if they're used with supersonic ammunition, this could overstress the internal components and cause a failure. The true appeal of shooting 300 blackout in this rifle is suppressed subsonic fire. To be perfectly honest, I see no reason to shoot it any other way. The addition of a suppressor to the subsonic ammunition make this gun as close to movie quiet as you can get. But the versatile 300 blackout conversion kit also allows you to shoot supersonic ammunition if you have that need. In my opinion, shooting a 300 blackout without a suppressor is silly. So for the most part, in this video, you're going to see it with a suppressor installed. The 30 caliber 300 Blackout works well with most 30 caliber suppressors. In this video, you'll see we did a lot of shooting with our own DTSS 30 caliber suppressor. We also used a YHM R9 suppressor, and we also have done a lot of testing with this SIG uh, 30 caliber suppressor as well. If shooting purely subsonic ammunition in this rifle is part of your plan, and it should be, then you can probably even use a 9mm suppressor as long as that is recommended by the suppressor manufacturer. Our first topic today, as usual, is going to be accuracy. The 300 Blackout, again, is a little bit different because of the different ammunition possibilities you can have with this rifle, so it's going to be a little bit more complicated than normal. In this rifle, supersonic ammunition seemed to provide more consistent results. Accuracy was around 1 MOA, which is pretty standard for most MDRX rifles. Subsonic ammunition was a little bit less consistent and accuracy for those subsonic loads typically ran around 2 to 2.5 two MOA. Some ammunition shot better than others, which is pretty typical of any rifle. This rifle preferred the Federal 150 grain soft point load. The best shooting subsonic load also came from Federal with a 220 grain Bowtail hollow point. As compared to other MDRX conversion kits, the 300 Blackout fares only as average when it comes to accuracy, but it stands alone in its ability to shoot subsonic ammunition. Our next category for comparison is maneuverability. In order to test the maneuverability of each MDRX configuration, we ran them through a timed course of fire. During this course of fire, there were several positional changes as well as much maneuvering in order to see which one could finish this in the shortest amount of time. The fastest time for completing this course of fire with the 300 Blackout Conversion Kit was 13.5 seconds. The 300 Blackout shoots either large bullets at slow subsonic speeds 
or smaller bullets at faster speeds. Neither of those combinations is ideal for our next category, but we decided to test it anyways just to see how the 300 Blackout stacked up with the rest of the MDRX configurations. Downrange performance is not the strong suit of the 300 Blackout. It's ideal for up close and closer range shooting. But to compare the 300 Blackout to the other MDRX configurations, we decided to test it at 500 yards, just like the other ones to see how it stood up. For this test, we used the same Federal 150 grain supersonic load that we did the accuracy test in. At 500 yards, the 300 Blackout produced 1142 feet per second and 435 pounds of energy. And for comparison, the subsonic 220 grain load produced 867 feet per second and 367 pounds of energy. This is obviously just data for comparison as the 300 Blackout is much better suited for shooting in the 50 to 200 yard range. Our final category for comparison is controllability. The 300 Blackout does shoot some very large bullets, so I was curious to see how it performed in our controllability test against the other MDRX configurations. The controllability test was done by firing a timed five-shot group on a steel target at 50 yards. The more controllable rifles were a lot easier to keep on your point of aim and therefore produced patterns that were much smaller than the others. The 300 Blackout produced a best group of 9.8 inches. I already mentioned earlier some of the suppressors that we used in testing the 300 Blackout. For optimized performance, we recommend that you run the gun on the lowest gas setting that it will reliably function on. So start at one and work your way up. Operating the rifle on a higher gas setting than necessary could cause premature wear or damage the rifle. The shorter range nature of the 300 Blackout makes it an ideal candidate for smaller scopes. In the video, we used it with both a 3-17 and a 1-4 scope. A good red dot sight is also a good option for the rifle, but it will reduce your ability to correct for the very steep trajectory of the 300 Blackout, if you do intend on shooting it at any significant distance. I hope you guys have enjoyed our MDRX rivalry video today on the 300 Blackout. Stay tuned for more information about new shipments of 300 Blackout conversion kits. We'll see you then.